Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I, Muhammad Danish And my three other friends Muhammad Hasif, Muhammad Daniel and Amirul Ashraf Would like to present to you application of Linear Algebra in Traffic Flow So now I'm going to briefly explain to you what is Traffic Flow Traffic Flow is the analysis of interaction between vehicles, pedestrian or any other travellers and infrastructure in order to understand and build an effective road network with efficient traffic movement and minimal traffic congestion problem. So basically, uh, traffic flow is what our government use uh, to make a road system so that they can make sure that there is no traffic congestion because it can lead to a lot of negative effects on humanity. Hence, the uses of linear algebra will be the main focus of our study that can be applied on real life, such as traffic flow. We use Gauss-Jordan elimination method to efficiently solve the problem. Next, my friend Amir Ashraf will present our main purpose of study. Uh, hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Amirul Ashraf. Uh, I'm going to explain about the main purpose of our project. The main purpose of this study is to show how linear algebra apply in the analysis of traffic flow through a road network. Using a house system of uh, linear equation with many solutions can arise in practice. This research will help to overcome traffic management in the area where traffic congestion has been reported. Okay, next is the methodology for our project. The following assumptions were made in order to smooth flow the traffic. Firstly, is vehicle entering the intersection should always be equal with the vehicle who leaving the intersection. Secondly, is the street must all be one way with the arrow indicating the direction of traffic flow. So, in this case, we're gonna make uh, the system of equation for every intersection to solve our problem. Thank you. My name is Mama Asif Bin Mama Yusof and I'm going to explain about the result for this project. This figure represents a roundabout in Yaitem Tapah and all the roads are one way and the units are vehicles per hour. So let's assume that the number of vehicles entering each intersection is equal to the number of the vehicles leaving the intersection. And for the intersection, this fact can be shown by an equation which are s plus 50 equals to y y equals to 100 plus z, z equals to 30 plus w, and w plus 80 equals to x. And then, we arrange the equation, and it can be shown as negative x plus y equals to 50, y minus z equals to 100, z minus w equals to 30, and x minus w equals to 80. Then, we use the gauss jordan elimination method to solve the system of equations. So, first of all, we need to find the leading one at the first column. So, we inverse the first row. So, we get the leading one. And then, we need to eliminate the number below it. So, we do negative R1 plus R4. And then, we need to find the second leading one at the second row, which is already there. So, we only need to eliminate the number below it. So we do negative R2 plus R4. And then we find the third leading one at the third row, which is already there also. So we only need to eliminate the number below it. So we do negative R3 plus R4. And then this matrix is in uh, row echelon form. And it's not in reduced row echelon form. So we need to eliminate the number above and below the leading one. So we start at the third column. So we do R3 plus R2. And then we do the second column. We do R2 plus R1. And then we get the reduced row echelon form for this equation. So the systems of equations that corresponds to this reduced row echelon form is x minus w equals to 80, y minus w equals to 130, and z minus w equals to 30. 
So we express each leading variable in terms of the remaining variable. So we had x equals to w plus 80, y equals to w plus 130, and z equals to w plus 30. So since there is a free variable, this problem has many possible solutions. But w must be greater than negative 30. So for example, if the w is 50, the solution of the system will be x equals to 130, y equals to 180 and z equals to 80. Thank you. My name is Muhammad Dina Hazib Ben Zaira. So now I will be present to you about the discussion about this project. So first, the value of knowing about traffic flow on different roads. This traffic flow system has many solutions so any traffic flows can be used in the system. The system of equations used in these solutions shows that the vehicles has a choice of the crossroads to create a smooth flow traffic. So it will avoid a mass of traffic jams. From X to Y, it has the most traffic flows along these two roads. The traffic flows can be controlled by Police Bantuan UITM. Police Bantuan can control the movement of vehicles and students they usually control at the intersections and crossings. For the second point, the specific routes that vehicles or students might take. The third equation in the system shows that Z will be the lowest traffic flow because there are only 80 vehicles while Y has the largest flows among all traffic. The size, number of lanes and roadblock by police will give a big impact on traffic flow. Thus, the smallest traffic flow is at Z. Any vehicles from other intersection interchange to Z should drive slowly so it can reduce the traffic jam. Therefore, to keep the traffic flowing, at least 80 vehicles per hour must be routed between Z and X. According to the roundabout in UITM, there is an entrance and exit at every intersection. So, it has a large amount of traffic entering and leaving each intersection at one time. On the other hand, the amount of traffic entering and leaving each intersection is not very symmetrical. Thank you. Thank you, Mama Daniel. And lastly, conclusion. By using Gauss-Jordan elimination method, we can conclude that this method can be used to identify the number of vehicles passing through a street or in this case a runabout. Based on our calculation in matrix approach, we can provide the estimated number of vehicles on a one-way street. If the number of vehicles on the road is known, traffic can be controlled and there will be less congestion problem. Thus, it is proof that Using the application of linear algebra is useful in traffic flow. Thank you.